Las Vegas Raiders hit the road for week five back to the 500 mark using a recipe made up of good running and tough defense to do it. Their opponent cooked up their second win the same way. Denver Broncos riding in on a two game win streak. Broncos move to two and two. The Elation for Bo Nix. Let's get ready to rumble. Love Broncos Raiders when they both have something on the line. They were almost mirror images of each other last week. Denver's defense facing a Vegas offense that didn't get a lot from Gardner Minshew in its passing attack, but got 150 plus yards out of its rush attack on 5.2 a carry. The jet sweep to DJ Turner through the left side. Breaks the tackle 15. Turner is shooting at the 10, the 5, the dive. Touchdown! DJ Turner with his first career touchdown. Vegas defense faces a Broncos offense that didn't get much from Bo Nix in its aerial attack, instead led by Javante Williams and Jaleel McLaughlin, who hit at 4.8 plus each. McLaughlin back to back for Denver. That's enough for another first down. Weather conditions played a role on their side, but they still may lean on their backs in this one. The Raiders allowed Jerome Ford to go for 58 yards on 10 tries. They've allowed 5.3 a run to running backs this year, only one team worse. They really need linebacker Divine Diablo back, who's out hurt. Ford, ball in his belly, breaks a tackle, has a first down and more. Inside the 25, the 20. Broncos defense, on the other hand, has played the run game well so far, holding running backs to four a carry. They held the Jets to 2.8 a carry last week, holding Brees Hall to four yards on 10 attempts. This Denver defense come to play here today. The Jets with zero net yards in the game. Broncos with minus five. That's a pretty strange start for an NFL game. Raiders rush mob they'll try and slow had five guys break off 10 plus yard runs last week. They will hit Denver with a running back duo as well. Alexander Madison, five carries 60 yards in week four. Minshew will go under center and Madison, room to roll, all the way down inside the 35. The best running play of the season for the Raiders. And lead back Samir White, 50 yards last week. He had to grind though and has all year actually. Still no games where he ended up over for a carry. If they can't get it going on the ground versus Denver, it's Minshew mania time. He could really use Devontae Adams back. He was out. Minshew just 130 yards passing, a low 70s rate, only 5.4 yards per attempt. Third down and 16. The Browns dropping back in coverage. Incomplete trying to take the top off to DJ Turner. If Adams is a go, he'll see a lot of Patrick Sertan. Garrett Wilson did last week. Broncos held him to 41 yards on eight targets. They held Aaron Rodgers to 5.4 yards per attempt, a low 70s rate, no touchdowns allowed. They have played the pass well through four games. Rodgers, backpedaling. Rodgers floats it up. Incomplete coverage was very good downfield. Broncos DBs will tangle with Jacoby Myers, Trey Tucker, both with 40 plus yards a week ago. Tight end Brock Bowers too, but just 19 yards versus Cleveland. Minshew faced pressure almost 40% of the time. That's a high figure. Was sacked twice by Miles Garrett, both given up by left tackle Colton Miller. Minshew's out of the shotgun. Back to throw, looking left. He's hit from behind and he's sacked. Broncos believe they could exploit that sector if their pass rush stays awake. Quiet to start the year, but then they seal the deal versus Rodgers five times. They hit him a whopping 14 times. Rush coming. Rodgers is shellacked. P.J. Locke. And has Denver locked down this win. Raiders defense also comes in off a good bad game, and they did it without Mad Max, too. Three sacks of Deshaun Watson in their win hit him 11 times. Watson looking Cooper's way. Pressure coming. He scrambles and is taken down. Charles Snowden, one of the guys replacing Max Crosby today with the huge play for the Vegas defense. Raiders held Watson to 176 yards passing, 5.5 yards per attempt, only one touchdown, and they picked him off. Watson all day to look, intercepted by Trayvon Merrig after it bounced away from Amari Cooper. Vegas DBs held Amari Cooper to 35 yards on eight targets with a little help from Madagascar Marty. Now they set their sights on Bo Nix and Cortland Sutton. Nix threw a touchdown to him last week. Nix delivers end zone, Cortland Sutton.
Sutton, touchdown, Broncos! Nix with just 60 yards passing, which is exactly what Sutton ended with. Just 2.4 yards per attempt, that's bad running back yard per carry low, without the risk of interceptions or sacks. But hey, Nix didn't take any of those on his 25 pass attempts, only hit twice, and he wasn't quick passing everything. Nix pump fake, Nix trying to run and does. That's a gain of seven, Nix has been excellent using his legs. This is old school beef right here, more like Tupac Biggie than K.Dot Drake. Fan bases have loathed each other for decades. Which team gets to three and two? How do they do it? Your keys and picks go into the comments section. Our picks go on this final screen.